Welcome back to math. And today we're going to be solving cubic and cube root equations. Let's check this out. We're going to solve cube equations algebraically first. So we are once again doing reverse PEMDAS. So even though you've never technically done a cubic equation, you've done these steps before. So you're going to do awesome. So let's follow along. So let me write out PEMDAS here. So we want to always start at the bottom when we're solving, when we're trying to get the x by itself. And I want to add or subtract anything that's outside these parentheses to get it away from the x. So all I see that I can do right now is that 4. So I want to cancel him out by subtracting from both sides of the equation. You know, this is something I've seen lately. When I say both sides, the equal sign is the separator, okay? So both sides does not mean here and here or up here and down there. It means here and on the other side of the equation. So that gets canceled, and it's like a balance. If you guys have ever used those, the ones that are like, they've got a doohickey right here to keep them balanced. And then you have your little whatever on both sides of the balance, if you ever use those in science. And they have to stay balanced, otherwise they'll like tip off horribly, just like this. So there's a balanced equation. And if you don't do the same thing to both sides, you get that. And one side's a lot bigger than the other side, and you don't want that. Okay, so both sides of the equal sign. Anywho, uh, so we've canceled out that 4. So I've got x minus 2 cubed over 2 equals a negative 2.5. And if you're not sure what that is, just punch it in your calculator. Um, Okay, good. So, is there anything else to add or subtract outside the parentheses? Well, now some of you might be saying I could add 2.5. You could. Nothing wrong with it, but it's not going to help you out at all because you're trying to get the x alone. So don't be bringing more things over here if you don't have to. So that's, that's that for that step. Is there anything I can multiply or divide? Well, I've got this divided by 2 here, so if I cancel that out by multiplying both sides by 2, again, both sides are the equal sign, um, then I'm just one step closer to having that x all by itself. Cool. All right, so we're done multiplying and dividing now. And all I have left to do is my exponent step before I get inside the parentheses. So how do I cancel an exponent? Does anybody remember? Anybody remember? That's right, you use the reciprocal. So I can write this one of two ways. I'm going to kind of jot it down over here. I've got this right now. To cancel this out, this exponent of 3, I can use a 1 third, which 3 and 1 third are reciprocals. And as you know, reciprocals, so reciprocals, cancel each other out because 3 times 1 is 3 and uh, 1 times 3 is 3 and that's 1 so they, they cancel each other out okay so so I could use a 1 3rd exponent I could also write it this way and it's really up to you what you prefer doing you could write that 1 3rd exponent as a cube root instead of writing it as a fractional exponent they mean the exact same thing so it just it depends on what you prefer to do. Um, I think I'm going to show, I'll use the exponent this time, I'll use a cube root another time. So, this is what I have from up here. And I want to cancel this out. I'm going to use, I'm going to go ahead and use a one-third exponent. Again, do it to both sides of the equal sign. So three and the one-third make an exponent of one altogether, so they cancel out. So x minus 2 equals a uh, negative 5 to the 1 third power is something. I don't know what. So just type it in. Um, oops. So go ahead and put your number that you can't see at all right now. So put your negative 5 in parentheses and take it to the, that's not what I meant. Take it to the 1 third power like that. And negative 1.71. Let's just round it to 1.71. 1. 
And then finally, continue solving for x using reverse PEMDAS. So once you're inside the parentheses now, which we are, you start, let me get that, you start all the way back at the bottom. Is there anything I can add or subtract? Well, there sure are. I can add a two. And then I'm done. I just have to add two and see what it is. And I get um, 0 0.29. Um, and the next example in here is uh, the cube root. So let's actually do one more cubic before we go do the cube root. So just real quick, let's do this example. Start at the bottom. Can I add or subtract anything to cancel out and um, try to get that x by itself? Um, so I have this plus 3 outside parentheses, and I'm going to subtract it from both sides of the equal sign. So that's done. Then is there a blurry camera right now? Yes, there is. So is there anything to multiply or divide? Yes, I have two times um, this quantity right here. It's outside the parentheses, so I can divide it away. Boop. All right, now I'm back at the exponent step. I need to cancel out my exponent. And since before I did it with a one-third exponent, but here I did it with a one-third, but I said you could also do it with a cube root because they mean the same thing. I'll just show this one with a cube root for variety. Why not, you know? Um, so here's what I have. Leave myself some room. I'm going to take the cube root. So remember, draw a square root, but put a little three on the shelf. Come on, camera. Um, so my cube root and my third power, my cube, cancel each other out leaving me with x minus 5 equals whatever the cube root of 6 is. So let's see. So control and then exponent button will bring up the root. Put a 3. So cube root of 6 equals 1.82. We can round it to that. 1.82. And then finally, you are now inside the parentheses, so that means start way at the bottom again. Can I add or subtract anything? I sure can. I can add 5. So x equals 6.82. So let's now go ahead and do the cube root example. So we've got a cube root equation. And once again, even though you've never technically done this before, you actually have done this before. Because it's just a reverse PEMDAS problem. Is that nice? I think so. Okay, start at the bottom. Can I add or subtract anything that is not inside that cube root? Remember that this is where the parentheses would be if we had them. It's just a grouping symbol. Um, so I have a plus 4 I want to get rid of, so I'm going to do that by plus 4. And once again, this is not times 3, that's just, it tells us it's a cube root. So don't try to divide by 3, please. Pretty please. You're done. Is there anything I can multiply or divide away to get that x by itself? That's outside the cube root. And there sure is, it says times 2. So let's make him go away too. Let's divide it. Okay, I missed one. All right, so now we're at the exponent step. And um, remember again, that is not times three. That little three is there to tell us it's a cube root. You know that because it's written on the on that little shelf looking thing. So it's a little tiny. That's what would be the, um... yeah, let me write it. Let me write it over here. So remember, we can write it this way with a one third exponent. And this, whatever number is right here, tells you what the denominator of the exponent would be. And then it's just one over that. So um, I guess try to keep that in mind, um, that this number should match the denominator of the exponent. So 
I need to cancel it out either way um, with the reciprocal. And if you can remember that this means this, then what's the reciprocal of one third? It's three. So you're going to cube both sides. So this is what we have right now. Leave yourself a little bit of room. And I'm going to cube both sides like this. And it cancels. So I have 16x plus 24 equals, and 6 to the third power is 216. You can confirm that with a calculator if you like. Um, but it's true. It's 216. So we are finished with our exponent step. We just did that. And now we're inside the parentheses. Sure enough, we are. So go all the way back to the bottom and see if there's anything you can add or subtract. And I can't. I can subtract 24. And that's, I think, 192. It sure is. And then divide by 16. And you get x equals 12. Finally, one that came out nicely, you know what I mean? Not some nasty decimal. Okay, so we've got two more examples here. With this incredibly blurry camera. I don't know why it's being this way today. And they're both cube root examples. Don't let this fool you. Again, that is a cube root. So let's check these guys out. All right. Can I add or subtract anything? I can subtract 10 to cancel it out. So I have the cube root of 2x equals 3. And then remember to cancel out the cube root. Oh, wait a minute. Is there anything to multiply or divide? No. Because this is, this is multiplication, but remember it's inside the parentheses, so you can't do that yet. It's behind this wall, it's being blocked. Um, and that 3 is not multiplication, it's just telling us uh, this, it's telling us this denominator right here for the exponent. So don't try to divide by 3, pretty please. You don't have that step in this problem. Alright, and then cancel the exponent. Remember you cancel a cube root with a cubed. So let me just rewrite that so I have some room. I'm going to take both sides to the third power, which cancels out. Then 2x equals, and then 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. And then finally divide by 2, and x equals 13 and a half. Start at the bottom. Can I add or subtract anything? Oh, I can add that 7. Goodbye, negative 7. Okay, now here is where I think people have the most problem. Number one, don't forget to write that negative sign again. Don't make it just make a disappearing act, because I can't do that. It's not a magician. If you prefer, you can think of this as times negative 1. So just stick a 1 right there, times negative 1. Because then, you know, once you get to this step, oh, well, I have to divide by negative 1. So I have x plus 2 to the power of 1 third, or cube root of x plus 2, equals negative 11. And then I'm at my exponent step, so I cancel this out with its reciprocal, which is a 3. So let me rewrite it because I have no space there. And whenever you put a negative number in, in uh, raise it to an exponent, it's always a good idea to use parentheses. Just as a habit. You don't always need to for an odd exponent, but uh, like I said, it's a good habit because you need it for even exponents. So be careful. So x plus 2, those canceled out the exponents, equals, and this is negative 1,331. And then finally, I need to subtract 2. So x equals negative 1,333. Yeah!